Joshua Edwards. Josh Edwards, I play basketball. I grew up in Lewisham, well, I'm in the borough of Lewisham, but I got one of first codes, so it's confusing. But um, I grew up in, like, my school was in, my primary school was in Catford, and so was my secondary school. But then I went to sixth form here in Bromley. Not too long ago, a car came past here and killed like three people. It was very bad. But yeah, like, it's, it's a pretty wild area. Like, I can recall many different fights and altercations just in this bit alone. But I was never involved in any of them. I'm, I'm a good kid. This is the, the front entrance of the school that I love very much. In here, you have like, there was like, they have a lot of like behavioral mentors. So when I was in like year seven and eight, I had one, but not because I was like a bad kid. I was just, I just had a smart mouth. So like, I'd always just like argue and debate with the teachers. Like I would never do anything like very bad. And in my, in my opinion, I was always right. So, and it wasn't even so much I changed, it was more, the teachers understood who I was like in when it got to like year nine and 10 and 11. Like they understood, okay, I'm just this argumentative guy that always thinks he's right. So let's just leave it. Let's, like, there's no need to make a big thing out of it. So they just left me and I didn't get in trouble. That, that's like over there, they built a gym. Like a lot of this stuff was built while I was here. Like they never, when I first got here, they didn't have that basketball court. That's where we played at lunch all the time. They never had that when I first got here. They built that while I was here. A lot of good memories here, man. Miss it a lot. So I was just like a wild and weird kid when I was younger. So this was still primary school. So I was like, cool. I'm going to what I consider a party. So let me just bring my, my toy lightsabers. So we all, I took them, we was all playing with them, just fighting and everything. And so as I went at that age, I was, I was, I'm mixed race and so is he. We're both mixed race, but like, especially at a younger age, and even now we're just considered black. So we see it as, okay, we were the only two black kids there in a, like a hall full of a hall full of white people and we didn't see it as anything we didn't see that as like that's not an issue or anything like that because that's how that's just how certain groups was but um from like other experience from like movies and stuff and it's like from what like family tells us was like okay we gotta stick together and so we was all playing together and then one of the kids hit him in the eye with the lightsaber so out of reaction i was just like okay it wasn't, it wasn't so much more than, okay, he looks like me, I've got to protect him. So I just started hitting this other kid with a lightsaber. I got banned from taking lightsabers to any other parties after that. We was very, very close. And then he went to a different school in secondary school when we came here. And we, we he carried on playing basketball. He was, he was great, he was better than me. He was amazing at basketball. And then the school he was at got him into like other, other, motives like he preferred like kind of like the he wasn't in a gang but he preferred that kind of lifestyle he liked it and he was just he was just bad in school like always fighting stealing and everything and then so he got kicked out of school um 
and then he then he left school and he was just he's just he was just do that like selling drugs and stuff and then um and then he he went to um he he went to prison like last year i think he came out like a few months ago for for drug related stuff Basketball's been like the main drive in my life because I'm pretty good academically but nothing academic or any normal job interests me. But basketball, since I started playing it, I loved it. I always wanted to play professionally in the NBA. And so that's, that's been the main thing that's driven me in my whole life, just that target to be able to provide for my family and play pro more. Yeah, if it wasn't for basketball, I, would have, I, would, I don't know if I would have left because that's actually a big move because I never like, moved school halfway through before, but I would have definitely wanted to. When I went into other secondary school years in sixth form, that's when I had so much schoolwork. It became more like, I just have to make sure when I'm working, I'm working harder and working smarter. And that became more technical on like, specific things rather than just, um, just like, actually just like, playing like in the younger years it was work hard working hard in in terms of amounts and like how how often i would do it and how hard i would go but when i got older it literally became how hard and how smart i could because I, I put fit in whenever i could but the amount of school work it was just work hard and work smart so boss was really giving me a way of being able to make a living, provide for my family and still be happy and still be in something I love. I never be like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to wake up and have to do this because I love it so much. So next year I'm going to a postgrad academy called DME in um, Florida. I'm going to do some school there and just work on getting getting bigger definitely. A bit skinny too, a bit too skinny right now and just working on my skill and stuff. So that's um, that's my goal then. Hopefully if I develop enough and get a D1 scholarship for the following years. When I was at the Dental 50 camp, one of the assistant coaches for OKC Royal RV, Ivy, he said a really important thing which I held on to and he's like, I've never worked a day in my life. And right now that's the same as me. And he said, if you love the basketball, it will give back to you like anything else in life. So that's how it's changed my life. I never want to work a day in my life. So and that's what basketball can do. Yeah, absolutely. I wish you, I wish you all the best. Thanks, man. Thank you very much, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. And I got a feeling you're gonna make it, man. Thanks, man. And you look about these days, man. Yeah. All right. I remember this. Yes. Bless up, man. Yeah. See you later.